Smith & Wesson 44 Magnum. It's one of the most powerful handguns on the planet. And it shoots a 250 grain bullet at 1,500 to 1,800 feet per second. So it's about 1,000 miles per hour. It's quick. Okay, let's get behind the blast shield, guys, all right? Come on. Go. Right, you guys ready to do this? Oh, yeah. Everyone ready? Awesome. Chuck, are you ready? Yes. Okay. Make fingers, me proud, Chuck. Fingers in the ears. Let's get it. All right, in your own time. Come here, come here, come oh, here. Oh, All of them, I don't think so. I One, two, three, four. I'll tell you what, let's see if it's in there. Whoa. One, two, three, four balloons to stop a slug of a 44 Magnum. Let's have a look at that again in slow mo. The bullet enters the fourth balloon, but it loses so much velocity that it just can't get through the far side and bounces back inside the balloon. Right, so why? How come? All right, it's all to do with density, OK? As soon as the bullet leaves the gun, it starts slowing down because it's got to cut through the air. And then all of a sudden, this bullet, which is prepared to go for miles and miles and miles, bumps into balloon number one, which is full of water. Now, the thing about water is water is super dense. It takes out so much energy from that bullet it slows it down. It's like trying to run through a swimming pool. It's so hard. Yep. Whereas you can just run through air, no worries, right? right. We have a winner in the house. <laughs> Thanks, Chuck. You're Devastated.